Good morning, ESM. I'm Gabby. And I'm Isabel. And let's kick things off today with Joshua Sports. Nope. Announcements. President Donald Trump has told some advertisers that election is officially certified for Biden. He will announce 2024 White House will run shortly after. A person close to the discussion confirmed, it's not clear what date he mentioned he said certified. Governors must see the certificate and a certificate with the state certified totals of and names of the election before December 14th, when the Electoral College will meet. Any election results by December 8th will largely be protected by any challenges. The four juveniles that crashed a stolen vehicle in the corner of West Jefferson and Salina next to Landmark Theater have been arrested. Everyone in the car was charged with third degree and authorized motor vehicle with the driver with criminal possession. The Game & Watch Nintendo's first portable handheld console used to let the game back and white. Nintendo will decide to remark the game and watch the new game watch you let it play for different games of what the color and the name will suggest. Let the time as well, this is be, being made for the 40th anniversary of the original game, and watch it go on sale today for $49.99 for a limited time. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention students, we are very excited to announce that registration for the ESM Winter Garden Percussion Ensemble has begun and the championship winning groups are open to students in grades 6 through 12. If you dance, give Winter Garden a try. If you drum or play the piano, the Percussion Ensemble might be for you. Interested students are encouraged to visit Review COVID Guidelines and register at www.esmmarchingband.org. The Spartan Branch will be open for baking soon. We will be open on Tuesdays and Fridays this semester during the all lunches. We will be socially distanced and ready to serve on Tuesday, November 17th. See you at the branch. And now on to Emily with weather. Good morning, everyone. Today we'll have a high of 54 with sun and clouds. Over the weekend, it will start to get colder with showers developing on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, it will get even colder with snow on both days with a high of 46 on Monday and a high of 38 on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll have no snow with a high of 35. Well, Thursday, we'll have a high of 40 on Thursday. Sorry, Thursday, we'll have a high of 40 and snow showers. I'm Emily with the weather. Okay, now on to Lena with sports. There are no upcoming school sports, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like there will be any for some time. The Indianapolis Colts defeated the Tennessee Titans 34-17 last night to take the first place in the AFC South. Quarterback Phillip Rivers threw for 308 yards and a touchdown to move the Colts to 6-3. Some under-the-radar waiver wire pickups for your fantasy team this week include Broncos quarterback Drew Locke, Eagles wide receiver Jalen Rieger, and 49ers tight end Jordan Reed. Yesterday, the first round of the 84th edition of Masters. After a two-hour and 40-minute weather delay, the first round was halted at 5.30 on Thursday. Round one continued at 7.30 this morning as Paul Casey is in the first at 7 under par. And in second is Dylan Fratelli at 6 under par and tied for third, third for Webb Simpson. Xander Shuffley, Justin Thomas at 5 under par. 
And the reigning champion, Tiger Woods, is tied for seventh at four under par. I'm Lena with sports. Okay. So from our Twitter poll, um, there's awful eight words you never want to hear again, and the winner was sports are canceled. Our new Twitter poll, oh, this is our other old one, for eight awful words you never want to hear again, the winner was the new normal. That's a pretty close one, though. Un what is it? Percentage of times in the new normal? Yep. That's a pretty close one. Our new one will be on our Twitter in a couple of minutes, and the words that we don't want to hear anymore will be Zoom, and we'll get through this together. I personally think, oh, that Zoom will be the winner. And then there's COVID-19 and Google Meet Hangout in class. I think COVID-19 might be the winner for that one. Yeah. That's well, all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. Have a